Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Amazon app. But before we start, hurry up and check out our new software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you use the Amazon app here? So before are we are actually able to use the app, we first need to actually download the actual app. So in this case, go ahead and open up your phone here. Go ahead and open up Google Play Store and you want to search for Amazon. So you should be able to see the app that says Amazon Shopping. Let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, go ahead and click on the install button if you see it. Now, if you already have Amazon Shopping app here, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using the latest version of the actual app because they actually have features here that you want to be updated. But in this case, if you only see uninstall and open here, it means that you're using the latest version of the app itself. Go ahead and click on open. Now, in this case, now what we need to do next is we now need to create our account. Now, in this case, go ahead and choose the option here that says new to Amazon.com, create an account. You go ahead and click on it. Now, in this case, the next page, this is actually a protected page here. You won't see it uh, much in here. But what we need to do is you need to provide your last name, your mobile number or email, as well as a password you want to use for your account. So, obviously, you want to provide all those details and click on the continue button that you see on your screen. But in this case, once you've done that, you need to confirm your account by visiting your email or confirm or entering a code that will be sent to your uh, mobile number. But once you've done that, you should be able to log in into your account. But since I already have my account here, I want to click on the already a customer sign in here. And from here, I want to provide my email address here. So let's, let's go ahead and provide my email. Click on continue. And from here, we now need to provide our password. So let's go ahead and enter it in here. Now, once you've logged in, you should be able to see this UI here. So before we are able to start searching for deals and uh, uh, different tools or different products here on Amazon, we need to first complete our profile. So that includes providing our contact details as well as our address and some payment details for our account. So at the very bottom, you should be able to see a person icon go ahead and click on it. And from here, we want to go ahead and basically go to the your account section. Let's go ahead and click on your account. Now, from here, you'll have a number of things that you can view here. So you have the order section, which in this case, you should contain the different orders. Like for example, subscriptions, rental orders, services, requests, your trading account, and your Amazon day. So obviously, since Amazon is actually a pretty big platform, there's are so a lot of things that you can do here like for example renting movies or uh, renting books or even buying products uh, and a lot of those things but we will be focusing on shopping here so in this case what we need to do is we need to actually uh, add our address first so scroll down a bit here you want to go to account settings and under account settings you want to go to your addresses now in this section you have two options so you have it add a new address or add a new pickup location so as you can see, I already have my personal address here. Let's go ahead and click on add a new address here. And from here, you need to choose your address. So obviously first, if you want to, uh, you want to provide your country. So in this case, choose your country here. So for example, I'm going to choose United States. Now you need to choose your full name here. So include your first name as well as your last name. Also, you need to provide your phone number. And for your location, you can actually click on the button that says use my location and that would actually automatically detect your location and enter it in the address section here. That includes your address, your city, your state, your zip code. And you also you have the option to make this as a default address. Whenever you're buying something, uh, you should be able to st immediately start using this one. But in this case, you also have the delivery instructions here. Like for example, if you have a box specifically for deliveries, you could basically state that you have a box that you need, uh, they, they could place the product itself for safe keeping. But once you provide all the details, you can go and click on add address and that would actually save, save that address here. Now, once you've added your address, what we need to do next is we now need to add our payment methods. So in this case, just scroll down a bit here and you want to go to your payments. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, what we need to do is we now need to add a new payment method. In this case, go ahead and click on Add Payment Method. And from here, you need to either choose one of the following. So, since this is a, a pretty protective page, you might you will not be able to see my screen. But in the screen, you have the option to add an FSA or HSA card, a credit or debit card, add a personal checking account, or add an EBT card. So, 
In this case, you could go ahead and choose whatever here. Like if you choose credit or debit here, you should be able to see this section here, which in this case, you have the option to scan your card or manually enter your details like the card number, expiration date, security code, or CVV, and the name on the card itself. Now, you could also choose a bank here and link your card. So, in this case, just follow the steps here to link your card. So, typically, the CVV is going to be at the back here. So, if you are having issues with connecting your card here, you might need to reach out to your uh, provider or you, the bank itself to uh, enable this one. Because sometimes, again, it, you, might, uh, you might have some problems connecting your uh, card or your account. So, again, you need to reach out to your uh, provider or your bank. Now, once we've added our address and our payments, we are now ready to start shopping. So let's go ahead and click on the home button at the very bottom left here. So in this case, in this section, you should be able to see the delivery at the top section. Now, since you have the option to add different uh, different addresses into your account, you'll have the option to change your address. Like for example, let's go ahead and click on the address section and I'll be, or I have the option to choose my address here. So obviously since I have one, only one address here, I won't be able to select other addresses here. But in this case, if you want to add a new one, you can go ahead and click on manage address book here. But for now, let's go ahead and go back in here. And from here, we should be able to start shopping again. Now, whenever you actually scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see different products. So it might be kind of confusing at first, but in this case, how do you view products here? Well, typically the first thing you see here, if you don't see any prices below the pictures or product pictures here, it means you'll be redirected to a specific category or page, especially for those type of products. So for example, you have battery chargers here. So you have the keep shopping for battery chargers. So if you click on it, you should uh, you should be able to, you should be able to be able to redirect it to a page for battery chargers. So underneath each product, you have your uh, different sections like the title of the product or name of the product and the rating for that product, which in this case is almost a five star. So a lot of people are actually uh, satisfied with this product here and the amount of people that actually brought the product, which is around 5K in the last month. Now, the actual price, the deal itself, like for example, for this product, it's actually 15% off and typically the price is going to be around $139 or $140. So now it's just $118 or $119 right now, which is 15% off. Now, if you're sure that you want to add this product, you can go ahead and immediately click on the Add to Card button here. But for now, let's go ahead and go back to the previous page. Again, when you actually scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see different products. So I just have to give you some warning here. Sometimes you might see the limited time deal here, as you can see on my screen, but some of the items actually have a larger amount of percents off here. But this is only for people who has like prime subscription. So if you're not aware yet, uh, Amazon actually has a prime subscription, which in this case, you'll be able to utilize advanced features in Amazon. So maybe in videos or uh, just basically features that I have here. So if you have that plan, you could leverage the 30% off or 39% off. So in this case, uh, for example, I want to see the deals for this. Well, let's go and click on it. So 30% off for this product. So as you can see in the actual main product section here, you have the name of the store at the very top, the rating itself, and the amount of people that actually bought it. So when you scroll down a bit here, you have the option to swipe right here and see different pictures of that product. Now, when you actually scroll down a bit here, you have different variations or sizes or variants of that product. So we have 20A, which is the size for the product. So in this case, if a product is currently available, it will actually be indicated in here. But sometimes products or variations will not be available. It will say currently unavailable. We also have 60A, Rego 60A here. And actually, uh, for Rego 60A, they only have one product left here. So if you want to buy it, you could go ahead and do that. So in this case, when you scroll down a bit here, you should be you should be able to see more details about the product. Like for example, the brand, the color, product dimensions. If you want to have those specifics, I have notes here and some products that might be good for the actual product here. So you might also like the different products here. If you see them, we might like also. I mean, we might also like section. It means those product uh, are actually quite related to this product here, and you might be interested in buying them as well. So in this case, you should be able to see from the manufacturer section here and further more details or descriptions about the product itself. So obviously there's going to be a lot of details here. So you could just scroll down a bit here, yeah. 
So when you scroll past it, you should be able to see different products again and uh, basically look for different products. So it's never ending uh, number of products here. So if you're not satisfied satisfied with the product that you're looking at, it will actually suggest you different products from uh, uh, from different stores as well, which is uh, actually quite similar to the product that you're looking at right now. But uh, yeah, so in this case, if you're satisfied with this product, you could actually add this to your cart. So also, if you want to uh, create your own wish list, you can actually click on add to list here. And this will actually add this to your shopping list. So just in case you want to have a reference later on or share it to your friends, you could go ahead and do that. But yeah, so in this case, we want to add this into our product or our, uh, our car. So how do we do that? Well, first, we want to select our variant here. Let's go ahead and select uh, this one. And in this case, once you've selected this one, you could go ahead and add this into your product by clicking on the Add to Cart option. But again, you need to have a Prime subscription for this one for, in order for you to use it. So for example, let's go ahead and choose this one since we don't, uh, it actually don't, it doesn't require any Prime subscription for you to buy the uh, option or buy the product. Let's go ahead and click on Add to Cart here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on our cart icon at the very bottom center. Now from here, you should be able to see different products regarding what you want to buy. So in this case, you can go and select what products you want to uh, buy here. For example, I want to only buy the first product here that we see, we just have row here. And from here, let's go ahead and scroll down a bit here. And we want to go ahead and proceed on checking out. So in this case, at the very top, you can go and click on proceed to check out. Also, uh, you uh, you might be eligible for, for example, items for free shipping. So if you get like $30 uh, for a product, you'll get a free shipping uh, for your product. But for now, let's go and click on proceed to checkout. And from here, you now need to choose your payment method. So if you already added yours, you can go ahead and select that. And once you've selected your uh, payment method here, you should be able to start adding or choosing your uh, address and confirm your transaction. So the uh, process itself is pr pretty straightforward. It, uh, Amazon will actually guide you through ho the whole process here. You just need to read the instructions. But then again, once you've chosen products that you want to check out here, you'll go ahead and click on the checkout button, uh, choose your payment method, choose your address, and confirm your, ad your uh, order. Now, once you've confirmed it, you should actually place the order itself and just need to wait for a few days or a few weeks for your order to arrive. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.